Bhutan is a special and unique country. A land that monks have been meditating on for years in sacred caves in the east. A country ruled by a monarch who was free to give up his absolute power to open up democracy. A place where progress is formally measured by happiness. Bhutan is the happiest country in the world. Perhaps happiness is something that all of us want to pursue, but only those who dare to claim to be very happy. But in Bhutan, when asked if people were happy, they all said yes. The reason is, why? Hutton's early history is steeped in mythology and remains obscure. Some of the structures provide evidence that the region has been settled as early as 2000 BC. According to a legend, it was ruled by a Kuch Bihar king, Saint Galdip, around the 7th century BC. But not much is known prior to the introduction of Tibetan Buddhism in the 9th century when turmoil in Tibet forced many monks to flee to Bhutan. In the 12th century, the Drukpa Kajupa school was established and remains the dominant form of Buddhism in Bhutan today. The country's political history is intimately tied to its religious history and relations among the various monastic schools and monasteries. Hutton's people are not rich. The country is also not part of the group of world economic powers. So their happiness comes from the simplest, smallest things. The Kingdom of Bhutan, where is the highest mountain in the world, located in South Asia is a small Himalayan country located between the Tibet Autonomous Region of China and India. On the Silk Road between China and the Indian subcontinent, there is no passage to the sea. Due to its unique geographical location, Bhutan receives quite a lot of influence from neighboring countries. Typically, the country has strong cultural links with the Tibet Autonomous Region, not to mention Hutton's politics and culture bearing the hallmarks of neighboring India. Because of its geographical location and topographic characteristics, Bhutan has helped create a unique history and culture. Bhutan has both cultural essences from Tibet, India and Nepal and developed its tourism strengths. Moreover, the location is so isolated that Bhutan retains its wildness as a raw gem in the middle of the mountains and forests. Buddhism is the most widely practiced religion in Bhutan with 75% of the population following Buddhism, of which the Red Diamond, a Buddhist school that appeared in the 5th century in North India, is the country's national religion. The state religion has long been financially supported by the government. The Buddhist voice is very influential on public policies. Bhutan takes happiness as the focus of the country. In terms of the growth rate of a country, it is clear that Bhutan is having a low growth rate. Hutton's economy depends mainly on agriculture, tourism, and selling hydroelectricity to India. More than 80% of the people of Bhutan depend on agriculture. They mainly cultivate, raise livestock, and do rudimentary crafts. However, the fourth king of the kingdom, Jigm Singhi Wenchuk, said that gross national happiness is more important than gross domestic product. 
Bhutan is committed to building a kingdom that puts the well-being of its people first, based on the spiritual values of Buddhism. Bhutan is the first country and in the world to assess the level of prosperity of the country based on the Gross Domestic Happiness Index instead of the Gross Domestic Product GDP as in other countries. In Bhutan, children are exempt from tuition fees, are subsidized food and books, and medical services are also completely free even when they must go abroad for treatment. Bhutan is a tight-knit community, with most Hutans people spending time together to cultivate relationships. They often drink beer together, drink tea, play sports like archery and football together. In Bhutan there is no patriarchy, but instead the people follow polygamy. Polygamy is recognized by Putin's law. Not only do the five sexes have the right to marry multiple wives, but women have the right to have more than one husband. However, very few women marry many husbands. Although polygamy is legal in Bhutan, today it is only maintained in some small community groups in the country. Bhutan, the happiest country in the world, has a regulation that prohibits the slaughter of animals. People here think that the slaughter of animals is wrong from here. Many people question if it is not allowed to slaughter animals. Bhutan's people should be vegetarians. Tax and Monastery, also known as the Tiger's Nest Monastery, is one of the holiest places in Bhutan. Taksin is located on a cliff more than three kilometers high, among the clouds overlooking the Paro Valley. This place is revered by Buddhists and people in Bhutan because it is associated with the process of gathering and practicing the religion of Mr. Padmasambhava. He was a monk who brought Tantric Buddhism from India to Tibet in the early 7th century. Hutan's tourist destination is located between Hutan's two famous rivers, Fo Chu and Mo Chu. Punakadzong Fortress has a durable ancient architecture, which remains intact until now. One of the architectural beauties is the unique closed system from 1673. It was considered a royal Hutan's palace until the mid-20th century. The National Museum of Bhutan is based in the town of Paro. Bao was founded in 1968 on the background of an ancient monastery. It currently holds a lot of documents about the life and culture of Putin's people. The museum plays an important role on the Putin's tourist map because of its unique architecture as well as the values that the museum offers visitors. Fabjika Valley is a glacier valley with an extremely large area. The body of the valley forms a unique U-shape. There are also many graceful black-necked cranes of the Tibetan highlands. Fabjika Valley also has a large Buddhist monastery nestled among trees and green hills. 
The valley is one of Putin's most beautiful tourist destinations and a tourist paradise of this kingdom. Bhutan is beautiful not only by its people, but also by its unique scenery and food culture. The title of happiest country in the world for Bhutan is well-deserved. This is why Putin's people are always proud of their country. For them, happiness is seeing and doing good things.